So I've been putting this project off for a long time now. This, what you see behind me, the room that I'm in, is a workshop. It's been here on the back of my garage. As I moved into the house a few years ago and I never really did anything with it. I just dumped my gear in here. All the bushcraft gear, all the camping gear, general sort of anything outdoor gear related. I just dumped in here. I never really used it as a workshop. I find myself now having the need for a workshop where I can do things with tools, general <laughs> organizational stuff. And so this is a little series about me putting together this workshop properly. It's already got lighting. It's already got one worktop in here with some drawers. I need to extend the worktop all the way along there, do a bit of paint work and just give it a really good proper organization, get some stuff up on the walls to hang tools. Uh, yeah, and just <laughs> sort my life out really. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the episode. First things first is I need to tidy and clear the area. Dehydrator, canoeing bag, family tent, World War II gear, box of random bushcraft stuff, axes. Look at that, that is old school. Big chest freezer. It's a really old one, it's not very energy efficient. But I've got a whole leg of deer venison. I've got some salmon skins in here for some making some fish skin leather. I've got some frozen berries that foraged in the summer. Elderberries, blackberries, and just general backup food stuff. It's an old, I need to get a new one really because it's so old that the energy efficiency on it is terrible and it's costing me a lot of money. This was over here. And actually you can see when it's pushed up against the wall, it's made loads of mold on the wood down here. For now, I'm just gonna push it in this gap. I've got a shelf storage unit there, a filing cabinet here, which I barely use and I've barely got any files in it. I'm probably gonna sell that. And I'm gonna just pop it there. I've got some power outlets against the brick. This is the back of the garage. This is the sort of back of the work, front of the workshop. And the door is just there. Window and the gardener that way. So. I don't know how big it is, I'll measure it in a minute, but I'm just trying to make better use of the space that's here. Because it's a great space, but I've just dumped it with gear and it's just not, it doesn't make sense. Got some willow here as well, which I need to, for basket weaving. Lots of stuff and craft things to do. But it all takes time, people. See, this eats into video time on TA Outdoors. So some weeks I don't put up amazing videos on TA Outdoors, my main channel, because I have to do this kind of stuff and I keep putting it off. And I really need to prioritise them up. Some oak, some carving. It's been sealed with PVA glue at the end, so just to preserve it. This was sent to me, was sent to me from the guys at Workshop Tools, probably six months ago. And I said to them, I need to tidy my workshop before I can set it up. It's essentially a knife sharpener, a really good one as well. Haven't even set it up. So I'm looking forward to getting that on a worktop. And I can finally sharpen my knives better. In the, um, I've just painted my kitchen ceiling with this Alien Contract Mat. Um, it's really good because I've used it on my, I had my kitchen ceiling skimmed recently and I don't need to, no, I'll probably do. Okay, that is the worst of it. I've still obviously got to do a few coats over that, but most of this wall is going to have uh, pegboard and things like that on it, so it doesn't matter too much. Just giving it a bit of a freshen up. So, essentially, what I'm trying to do is this work, this worktop, which is really messy here, really solid, but it goes obviously that section from the brick to the edge of the workshop. I want to carry that around all the way along here, about there and not as wide or as deep as that one. So slightly narrower, just to give me a bit more room you know, in the actual workshop itself. It means that I can have much more storage underneath the worktop rather than just this, which is my tent. Those of you that know the Go To The Bushcraft show and the uh, shows that I go to each year, I have a big stand and this is a, just a four x four, basically gazebo, TA Outdoors like branded one. That tends to go under there and it will still store under there 
but I can just store so much more if I have a worktop. It just makes life so much more practical. So I've left a bit over here and the front fascia is actually shorter than the back. And that's because I had to go and get some more lumber and the store didn't have the longer ones. They only had the sort of uh, 2,400 millimeter ones instead of the 3,000 millimeter ones. But I've left that there like that because I can then extend, if I need to extend this out, I can just add a little section here and extend the worktop out. But for now I've got enough space to just get that plywood down which is the next step. Solid. That is going nowhere. And I'm not even going to have massive heavy machinery on it, so it's a little bit over-engineered. But I'm pleased with that. Nice work top here. Loads of space underneath for storage. Using my daughter's uh, little broom because uh, can't find my dustpan and brush. So you join me a few days later, I went and made a film on my, my main channel, TA Outdoors, uh, and I went and got a bit more plywood because when I was looking at this worktop um, and the, the amount of storage that I thought I could get from the top layer of the shelf and obviously the, the second shelf underneath, I realised I can, I can essentially double my storage if I carry it on in an L shape around the workshop. There's that way that's not, otherwise I'm just gonna end up stacking gear and it's gonna be a mess over here. Whereas if I carry this worktop all the way around, um, I just know it will be much more efficient in the long run and I can have different workstations if I need to on the top section here and then different storage solutions underneath. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is just, is actually take this small piece of plywood off, use these bigger pieces to get me closer to the end up here, carry this on around here and maybe go to just about down here just so there's a bit more storage. I know I'll use it and a lot more workspace, so. Right, we're almost pretty much there. The worktop now extends all the way along here and slightly out into the corner a little bit, just for a little bit more storage. I have left a bit of a gap here because I might use, it's taller, the ceiling there, so I might use some of these taller shelving bra like uh, storage units over there because it's higher, so I don't want to go too crazy with the, the worktop. But I've still got to do on here in this corner and carry on some more storage there. Oh, 
I uh, added an extra shelf down there. Now I've got to sweep up because it's getting far too dusty in here. So sweeping, hoovering, and on to the next job. Worktop, it's a mess over here, but worktop has been fully extended around the edge. Still got to touch up a bit of white over there. Uh, I've hoovered up, got some off lefty off cuts down there. Uh, now I need to look at some wall storage. A load of mountings here but essentially this is just a metal pegboard uh, which is in square sections like this I think they're 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters uh, and I was thinking so I think the three together are about six feet so I'm thinking if I can mount these I think it's just about six feet it might be slightly less which would be gutting but if I can mount them really close together I might just get them in in here which would be so good because I think I've got six feet to work with and then pretty much six feet. Test it. Right they're bang on six feet and in between oh it's like I've got an inch to work with if that. So providing I mount them really close to here they should all fit. Back of these pegboards, the mounts are just here. And so they're in each corner, about two, I say, holes in. So what I'm doing, just so I know, is I'm just marking with a pencil, that, just so I know which hole to mark when I hold it up. Just makes it a lot easier. Now I have six foot of pegboard to be able to hang tools up and get them out off the worktop so that I can get some more worktop space. Right, these are all the mountings. sorts of different mountings here, things for chisels and screwdrivers, things for hanging drills on, that's the one I'm interested in at the moment, but I'm just going to peg these on the board and just see what I can hang to begin with, even little small like S hooks and stuff as well, half S hooks, let's give it a go. Any of you remember on my main channel TA Outdoors the Poundland challenge that I did? Uh, I bought this sh uh, bath sort of shower 
storage rack that I was going to cook on, but obviously it's, it's got metal on it that would not be good to cook on. Um, so I've obviously got a spare bath shower rack here. So I've just put some hooks here and where there's that extended bit here, it seems to hook under the lip of the pegboard itself and it seems to work to just sit there as a little shelf, a little memento to the Poundland Survival Challenge I did and that's going to be handy to just put things on. Okay, I think you get the gist of it. This isn't probably my final setup. I've just, I've got a hell of a lot more tools and woodworking gear and everything like that. But I just thought I'd try it out, um, just try the different mountings and see what works. This seems to work for now. I've kind of got my drilling up here, then uh, screwdrivers, then hammers, then tape, a few little clamps. I've got way more clamps and stuff. Then I've got measuring and sawing over here. And obviously it's, it's, I'm sure it's gonna get filled up a lot more over time. Here, you can see the, it, it's a bit my OCD, but you can still see the previous paint splodge marks through the white emulsion. So I'm gonna put another coat of emulsion there. And then I'm gonna stain the whole worktop, even though I don't have to at all, it's totally fine as it is. Um, my OCD wants it to match in with the dark work, worktop over there. And then all of that needs tidying and sorting as well. So. I'm going to get to painting that and staining this and then I think that is the end of phase one of the workshop renovation. Might even have to gloss this to be honest. So I'm using, for those wondering, Ron Seal 10 year dark oak satin. I think it's an, actually an outdoor one but I'm just going for it because I think I used it on the other worktop anyway and it's an old tin. Well, it's not what not. starting to look a bit more like a workshop now with the pegboard up. I've ordered a slightly different pegboard to go here, a smaller one, which we'll probably do in the uh, in the next episode. Uh, I realise I haven't wrapped this one up. Something that's going to go in this gap here, first is my show tent that I take to the shows. It's, it's really long and I'm hoping if I can lift it up, I can tuck it in the corner behind this shelving unit here, which would be absolutely perfect because it's so long, it would really, it wouldn't be able to go underneath here and I can use underneath there for storage. Whereas if I store that vertically, it will have a lot more space in here. So that's the plan. We will see, I'll put you guys down there. Don't you worry. And we'll see if it will just tuck in that gap. Please work. Yes. And I've still got lots of space here. I only need this once or twice a year, this tent. So it's basically a big, a big gazebo, so that's really handy, it tucks behind there. Gonna sell the filing cabinet here, that will give me space. Gonna sort the chest freezer out here and this side of the workshop. But for now, I've got something to put in this gap. I'm just gonna have a quick hoover, just to get this lot out of the way.
So tools hanging on the wall, and then a nice large toolbox there, multi sort of storage one. Your standard one that mechanics use and stuff for cars. Um, that's going to be really useful, but I'm really pleased that fits there just fine. And it's on wheels, so I can move that out the way and get to my show tent at the back if I need to. Still got all that shelving to sort. Still got all this side to sort. Hopefully going to sell that. Sort all this and then get some storage under here. And some more wall, <laughs> wall storage. I feel like we're making progress though. It's looking a lot better than what it did a couple of weeks ago. I've been doing this on and off now. So I just got to get some nice organized storage down here. It's going to be really good when it's finished though. So I'm going to cheat a bit and where I've, the stain has come up against the white and it kind of looks a bit smudgy, especially over here in the corner there. Um, I'm just going to run a bead of deco cork along there and just make it a lot neater.